What's up fellow Clashers, my name is Paragon Hunter and in this video I'm going to show you a Town Hall 8 Go Velo attack strategy guide. Um, I will show you what bases to look for and how to attack them. Let's start by viewing a replay so I can show you what army composition you should bring. This is from my second account in the current war. Um, so I normally bring two golems, six valkyries from my own. You can do it with level 1, so level 2 isn't necessary. I just got them also. So, um, in the clan castle, um, you should take 3 max valkyries. And I took a max poison spell with my own poison spell to kill the clan castle, because that's mostly a dragon with a balloon. Then, about 10 to 12 balloons, some wizards to create a funnel to make sure your wizards are. Uh, your Valkyries are going to the core, and then some goblins for cleanup or to lure the clan castle. And this is the kind of base you're looking for. You're looking for bases with the air defense in one compartment with no walls in them. Those are the bases you can just wreck with Govala. You will see on the end of the attack, this is a max town hall 8. I will still have both of my golems in full form, like six Valkyries. A bunch of balloons, my king. So it was an absolute overkill. Um, I'll show you the attack right now. And the first thing I'm going to do is lure the clan castle with a goblin over here, um, and then just kill it with a poison spell. And here is also another tip: if you wait a little bit, like three seconds between your poison spells, you can even kill a max dragon with like um, a max and a level one. Um, but if you drop them instantly after each other, there is a chance you won't kill the dragon. So here's the tip, just wait a little bit, like 2 or 3 seconds and you will kill the dragon for sure. So I will start a replay right now, we're going to 4 exit, because nobody wants to see some poison spells in action. There we go, the dragon is almost down. Now uh, I'm also always using Quark Quake, you, you can use any level, because 4 Quakes will destroy um, every wall. Um, and I decided to quick quick open this area and then make uh, a funnel. I will drop a golem over here and over there with my wizards so the Valkyries can puff right to the core and destroy it. And you'll see that over here. Now I'm quad quaking this part. And now I'm splitting my golems so the wizards um, have, have some cover and will be able to make a funnel because if you fail on this part the Valkyries will go around the base or so something like that and then you're basically, your attack is ruined and you won't be able to 3 star. So as you can see, I am making a nice funnel and uh, the next attack I'm, that I'm going to show you, it, it was quite hard to make a good funnel because it was like a ring base, but you had to wait quite long, but you'll see what I mean if I show it to you. So there we go, the funnel is almost created and I'm waiting. Yeah, I'm waiting on this dark drill to, to survive uh, and then I'm going to drop my Valks so they will target this and then go inside so they got a clear path inside, you'll see that right over here. There you go, the Valkyries, the clan castle Valkyries with the Barbarian and the Barbarian King and they are all heading to the core and then you just wait a little bit, once they are in the core drop your heal, heal spell as far as you can. I dropped it right over here, that was a little bit, <laughs> yeah, I could have put it a little bit further, but I saw some tassels popping and there were like two Valks, so I dropped it, but it was a 3 star, so no problem, and it was an absolute overkill. So there you go, the, the heal spell, and just heal Valkyries in the core, they just won't die, except f for from uh, clan castle troops, like wizards, but they're just overpowered with a heal spell. Um, as you can see, I'm also dropping one Hog Rider on the top to kill this Wither Tower because they are so annoying against your balloons. Um, so the core is going down. The next thing you, you want to watch is when your defense are down or are almost going down, you want to put your balloons. And of course, you want to target the air defenses first, like Wither Towers, Archer Towers, Cannons, not. But you could put one balloon on them so they could path to the archer towers, and you'll see that happening 
right now so this air defense is all down and putting the balloons in also on this side and there you go just um, one more left that's an obsolete overkill I'm going to forex it again I didn't even notice I still had uh, a goblin over here but there you go you see still two golems and Valkyrie is my king I don't know like eight balloons or six I don't know absolute overkill so now I'm going to show you the next replay and again look at the base the three air defenses are in one compartment but on this base it's much harder to create your funnel because if you put your Valkyries over here there's nothing to target over here so you gotta make sure that this is all gone and then they will head to the core and they will destroy the air defenses so let's watch one of our clan members do it he brought some more wizards less valkyries because he, he needed to create this funnel that he needed so there you go he's first um, gonna lure the clan castle again drop a double poison wait a little bit in between and the dragon will go down for sure there we go um, some minions because there aren't any archer towers or air um, defenses around there and then he's going to make a wide big uh, wave with his golems so his wizards are protected and I think yeah he will quad quake this whole area in a moment which is very nice he got three walls and he made a path straight to core without any wall breakers there you go I think yeah so that's great but now um, he's waiting I think on this storage or I think uh, it's not it's not down but just put one Valkyrie and see where it's heading and if it's not to the core just wait for your st for your troops to destroy more buildings there you go so he dropped one Valk to target the Tesla and then he dropped all his other Valkyries a nice heal spell that covers the whole area and now he will be dropping in his loons um, mostly on the air defense uh, things like air defenses like archer towers and there you go the base is rex he does catch a couple of traps over here but he still got a lot of loons left so that won't be a problem and also the valkyries and the king they always survive almost pretty much always survive uh, on these attacks so you always got some cleanup and there you go another three star for the good guys so I hope you enjoy this quick time late Govado strategy and I hope you'll be coming along these bases with three air defenses in the same compartment and then you will be able to rag them in the future. See you later guys. <laughs>